Hello and welcome to this Amcrest tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to set up your NV2104 or 2108 for use with your Pro HD Wi-Fi camera using a hardwired or wireless connection. We will also show you how to set up recording and playback using the NVR's user interface. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure both your NVR and camera are powered on. Next, connect your NVR to your monitor with an HDMI or VGA cable. Once everything is connected, your live view screen should display with four or eight channels. To add a camera to your NVR, you'll need to connect it with an Ethernet cable and add it using the user interface. Let's see how to do this with the Ethernet or wired connection setup. There are two ways you can hardwire your camera to your router, either through the built-in PoE ports or via a router. On the NV2104 and 2108, there is one main data port which is used to connect to your network or router, whereby you can connect four or eight cameras to the router. The PoE models 2104E and 2108E come equipped with four or eight power over Ethernet data ports built into the NVR, which can connect directly to your ProHD cameras with an Ethernet cable. Ensure your NVR is connected to either your router or directly to your camera with an Ethernet cable. Once that's done, you'll see one or more of the channels on your monitor populate with the camera's feed. An invalid password message may appear because the NVR will immediately attempt to log into your camera with the default admin password after being added. You will need to input the correct password by clicking the pencil icon under Modify. Enter in the correct password for your camera and click Save. After the new password is saved, your camera's live feed will pop up in the channel. Now let's see how to connect a camera using the wireless connection setup. Please note, to set up the camera for Wi-Fi configuration on your NVR, you must first connect your Pro HD camera using the mobile app setup. Please see the link in the description below to view our Pro HD mobile app setup video for more details. Once you've logged into your camera using the mobile app setup, go to your NVR's main menu and click on Camera. Then select Device Search to locate your camera wirelessly. Under Device Name, your camera's serial number should be displayed. Go ahead and select it from the list by clicking the checkbox next to it. Click Add to add it to your devices. It should display down below once it has been added. The camera's live feed should come online within a few seconds. Click Save to complete the Wi-Fi configuration for your camera on the NVR. You will have complete functionality as you do with the wired setup. Now that you know how to connect your camera to your NVR using both the wired and wireless methods, let's go ahead and set up recordings to your NVR. For this part of the setup process, you'll need to install a hard drive into your NVR, which is not included with the device. For more details on the NVR hard drive installation and a list of compatible hard drives, please see the link in the description below for a hard drive compatibility list and a link to our DVR and NVR new internal hard drive installation video, which walks you through this process. Back in the user interface, Use the mouse to right-click and select the main menu. Choose the storage icon in the menu. Click on the Schedule tab on the left. Below the tabs at the top are the color-coded recording types you can select from. The NVR comes set up by default for 24-7 regular recordings, which are colored green. The two most commonly used recording types are regular and motion detection, which is colored yellow. The other two recording options, Alarm and MD and Alarm, are exclusively used for connecting your home or work alarm system to the NVR and are not used as often. To schedule a recording, you can select your recording type at the top and specify the desired times below by clicking to highlight blocks of time on this 7-day, 24-hour grid. We'll choose Motion Detection here, which is yellow, to add another recording type to our recording schedule. You can select one single block or multiple blocks of time up to 24 hours. To delete an entry, simply click the trash can icon over to the right. When you are finished scheduling your recording times, be sure to click Apply and then OK to save your changes. 
Now let's take a look at how to play back your video files. To locate your recordings, click the search button at the top to search for recordings. At the bottom of the playback screen, there is a 24-hour timeline. Within it, there are colored sections displayed. These are your recordings. Again, green for regular and yellow for motion detection recordings. On the right, there is a button to display the list of recordings and their times. We will select one of the recordings here for playback. On the bottom left are the playback control buttons. Here you can play or pause, stop, play backwards, move frame by frame, slow motion playback, fast forward, smart search, and adjust volume. To go back to the main view screen, simply right click anywhere on the screen. Now let's take a look at accessing your camera's pan tilt zoom feature directly from the NVR's user interface. Right click the active live view channel of the camera you want to access and select pan tilt zoom. The camera's live view will display full screen with the pan tilt toggle control switch in the center. Here is where you can control the pan tilt feature on your camera. To use the pan feature, click the arrows left and right to move your camera. For the tilt feature, click the arrows up and down. Once you've found your desired camera position, you can click the sit button in the center to hold and save your camera's position for future recordings. Now you're able to set up your camera on your NVR via Ethernet or Wi-Fi, as well as schedule recordings and playback your videos. We hope you've enjoyed this NVR setup tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more how-to videos from Amcrest.